Put a one in the chat if you have a trifold. Here was the original trifold. Here was the original trifold. So people say, uh, you know, these, uh, you know, haters have been saying that, oh, that's not true. That's not. Well, the Minnesota State Supreme Court just said using a bevy of previous case law, we find that odor is not probable cause for search. I've been arguing this. You have no idea. I've been arguing this with hundreds or thousands of people for years. And now you can plainly see it yourself from Fox News, the cop sucking channel 101. Mary Jane is odor is not probable cause for a police search. That means that when you get some jackboot thug pig in front of you, that jackboot thug pig might not know the law. Put a one in the chat if pigs don't know the law. Put a one in the chat if pigs don't know the law. They don't. That, that means you have to show them the law. Uh, except out of the car, I want to search your vehicle. I think I smell Mary Jane. Officer, I need to inform you, and I'm going to inform you on camera as I tell you that there are several cases in several states that clearly state that the smell of Mary Jane alone is not probable cause to search my car or to even order me out of the car. You can order me out of the car in the name of officer safety. You cannot order me out of the car and say that you have probable cause to search because of Mary Jane. It's on the trifold right here. You can read this one. This is Commonwealth versus Barr. It's also held up in the 2024 case of Robinson versus Minnesota. If you'd like, I can show you also on my cop card where it says the exact same thing. The exact same thing. Commonwealth versus bar, smell is not probable cause. You have to show the card. You have to show the trifold. You have to show the pig on camera. And then if the pig continues, then I'm just going to talk right into my camera. I just showed this pig the card. I just told him the law. He's violating my rights. It goes around his qualified immunity. And I'm going to sue that jackboot thug pig as soon as I get out of here. Can you guys see that? Can you read that clearly? Okay. So this says here, whether a right is clearly established depends on whether the contours of a right are sufficiently clear. If you don't state the right, it's not clear to the cop. The judge is going to say, he didn't know. He didn't know he was violating your rights. Qualified immunity. Okay. So that every reasonable official would, under would have understood that what he's doing violates the right. That right. Do you see? This is called the clearly established prong. It's called the clearly established prong. This is when you sue a cop for violating your federal civil rights. The clearly established prong is the metric that the judges will use to determine whether or not the reasonable official would have understood that what he is doing violates that right. Well, the way you go around that reasonable official would have understood that what he's doing violates my rights. Whether the conduct analysis courts look to see whether it is beyond debate that existing legal precedent exists. The way you do that, the way that you say that there's no legal debate is you have the law on a piece of paper. You don't want to go to jail. The way you stop from going to jail is show them the law in writing. Show them the law in writing. Written on a piece of paper. There it is right there. There it is. My trifold has been correct since I made my very first version in 2021. My trifold has been correct. The trifold says the exact same thing that I put into it in 2021, says the exact same thing in 2024. Mary Jane odor alone does not provide probable cause to search a car. Cops may not search a car solely because it smells like Mary Jane. Fact, any state that sells Mary Jane in any capacity means that the smell of Mary Jane alone does not justify a search or seizure. I have informed you of the holding and the current law. My rights are unequivocal. And then you can just throw in. And by the way, the 2024 case of Robinson versus Minnesota at the Minnesota State Supreme Court says the exact same thing. The exact same thing the Commonwealth versus Barr says of 2021. Put a one in the chat if you have a cop card in your wallet or trifled on your visor. And if you do, if you put that one in the chat, now you can rest assured that no matter what you heard from dumb shit people on YouTube who also said that qualified immunity is the most important thing, okay? It's not. But now you know that if your car does have a smell to it, if you have the Fifth Amendment cop card and you can clearly and easily quickly show them number five, cop states he smells Mary Jane, number five right there. Or if the cop comes up to you and you have your trifold, you can have a lot of confidence and security in yourself that if you catch them on camera, they violated your rights and you can sue them and you try to get their peace officer certificate. Try to get that cop fired. Try to get that cop fired.
look at one, 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 one. That's how many people have the trifolds or the cop cards in their vehicle or in their wallet. To get the trifold and cop cards, go to my website, www.projectconstitutiontiktok.com.